what up, it's your boy Raul, and I'm really excited for this clip because today we're going to be talking about biodiversity and ecosystems and how they relate to each other. Biodiversity. Let's think of the ecosystems we already know about, like the forest behind our house, the ocean that we like to go visit, and the fish, and the ecosystem that exists there. So, now that we think about all of those and how they've existed in the past and how hopefully they'll exist in the future, you can think about biodiversity as the strength of these ecosystems, their resilience and their abilities to withstand pressures. What kind of pressures? Yeah, some of them are man-made, but other things like volcanic eruptions or asteroid impacts or changes in climate that naturally fluctuate, etc., etc. So there are three features that I want us to think about when we think about biodiversity. We need to think about genetic diversity. We need to think about species diversity, and we need to think about the ecosystem diversities as well. Now that we've wrapped our minds around biodiversity, and the importance of biodiversity, we're going to look at an app called iNaturalist. Now the iNaturalist app is a really cool app that allows us to look at crowdsourced data. Get into the app, find a project you want to contribute to, or maybe you want to start your own project with your family, your friends, or your class. Now, I've gone ahead and started a project, and you'll be able to see it here and join the project. Take some pictures, identify some different plants, animals, insects, all kinds of stuff in your backyard. All of this is to get you ready to participate in the BioBlitz, which is happening this Friday evening. The idea is you would compete on behalf of Team Halifax, and we would be competing in an international challenge across the world. 